you just classy and trying to keep it concealed Oh mama I essentially bought everything that I wanted in my dream spring wardrobe. I haven't tried any of them on except for what I'm wearing. I got a ton of stuff off the brand Lucan. If you've watched my channel since last year, you've seen a haul from them already. I really love their stuff. I wear them all the time. The vibes are cool. The vibes are definitely cool. I got a pair of like mule clogs, which is just I'm very excited for. I really can't wait to see if they look good because in my head they do. As you can see, I'm filming in a different corner of my room. I have rearranged it and I'm doing a room makeover transformation video and it's gonna be coming up by the end of March. Hopefully everything's gonna be done by then. Just really excited to show you my new room. Let's get into the video. This top fits like a dream. It's not like a cotton or polyester type material. I wanna say it feels like cashmere. Like obviously it's not. It's super soft and very flattering. It has like a fitted almost look. Without being tight or fitting like a skin. I really like the cap sleeve on this. I thought it would look really bad on me because I didn't know if it would make my shoulders look broad. But surprisingly, very flattering. Really love the dolphin hem. Or I don't know if this is called a dolphin hem. I know they're called dolphin hens on shorts, but are they called dolphin hens on shorts? Makes your waist look so small. I feel like it's very nice with a low rise pant, like these jeans. These jeans would be perfectly like, I'm 5'2 for reference. It's like super grungy, a 2000s like acid wash look. How good it makes your boobs look. Like, am I crazy? Or does it make you look really good? I also got belts because I don't have belts and I feel like I never wear them. Sometimes an outfit really calls for it. I will say, this reminds me of a belt that I had in middle school. And so for the one that I have was rhinestone. So like, maybe I could make it work now, but I'm not sure. This top is a little bit of a funny color. Like, it's a little bit purpley, lilac -y. I don't want to keep wearing like tans and whites and, you know, the neutrals for springtime. But also I'm not that adventurous to go flashy colors. I just wanted to slowly ease in some color, like a little bit of purpley lilac. Plus it's so soft, I could wear this all day. But this belt is perfect. Go for a lot of outfits and make it look a lot better accent here and there. I also want to try out this shirt with these jeans. It's kind of like a cropped like button up shirt. And I feel like it'll look good with the low rise. Not as cropped as I thought it would be on me because I think I'm just short. On the model, it was like up here and it showed like maybe an inch of skin above her pants. What I was going for, I want kind of like just a tiny bit to just break up the colors. I feel like if I wear it a little bit further back, I could achieve that look. But regardless, I still like that it's more cropped than most button up shirts. All of mine are like long, they go to here. I want it like boxy and oversized, but not slouchy, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is perfect for achieving that. And then I have one more belt. I think this one is essential. It's shocking how many black accessories I have, and I don't really wear that much black. So kind of hard, you know? I'm also hanging out the stuff as I go because I'm trying to be more organized, and that means not throwing my stuff everywhere when I'm done with it. So this belt, white, is gonna be great for a lot of outfits, I think, because I wear a lot of tans and neutrals. All right, maybe not with this outfit. Let me put on a lighter top just so I can show you. This top that I picked up, this crochet, if you know anything about me, I love a good crochet top. And finally, it's like springtime, summering. This one's a little bit longer and looser, but I think to show you, I might need to put something underneath it. So let me go find something. Here's what I came up with. I just have a white hang top underneath. It's like the same neckline and cut almost. It's just cropped. I really like this top. I think I need to find something better to wear underneath it. This is saying spring to me, if you haven't noticed. My style's changing to a little bit less like grungy, edgy streetwear. Maybe a little bit softer slash vintage vibes. Not actually vintage because I'm not, I feel like that's a whole other thing that's like very difficult to conquer. Cause there's so many textures, patterns, colors in vintage clothes. I think this is so cute. I feel like I like it with the belt. Maybe if I tuck it a little bit. Oh, this is just so cute. I can see this in so many outfits for me. I want to try on these shoes. Ding. Oh, well that was anticlimactic. My God, they smell strongly. Like not bad, just like a shoe store. You know when I walk into a shoe store, it's like, Do you guys like it? Comment below. I feel like this might be a controversial piece, but I think it's dope. I really like shoes that you can wear like with a skirt or something and it's quite obviously a mule or a loafer or whatever, but if you wear jeans over it, it kind of just looks like a boot. I love the studs on this and I like how the toe is like a little bit burnished. A pair of shoes is only available at Miriam. The brand is Miriam. Oh yeah, those are true size for sure. What do you guys think? Like a little bit punk rock, Portland also. I don't know if I like them like bare ankle though. Probably like some sort of like sheer sock with it if I was showing the ankle. What do you guys think? Rate this outfit. My camera ran out of storage. 
a slight break. Obviously now it's cloudy. Hopefully it'll change back to sunny. The good thing is it reminded me to tell you guys about the giveaway that I'm doing with Lucan. As you can tell by how this haul is going, I'm really in love with this brand and I wanted to do a giveaway for you guys so you could get some new spring pieces. It's gonna be on YouTube and on Instagram so make sure to head over to my Instagram. This is it if you don't know it. To follow me there, there will be a reel that's posted and I'll have the same instructions that are going to be in this video's description. There's a bunch of little giveaways and bigger ones also. There's a link in the description. Click on it, sign up for an account. Everybody gets a $10 gift card. And then one winner will get a $200 gift card. And then five winners will get a $100 gift card. And then there's one extra prize, not related to Lucan at all. You can either get a 12 month subscription to Spotify, an Uber Eats gift card for $200, a Nike gift card for $200, Class Pass gift card for $200 or a Tiffany necklace for $250. Personally, I feel like this is a really good giveaway. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can comment on both the YouTube and the Instagram reel as many times as you want. Lucan will be picking from the comments. So you can comment on one or you can comment on both of them. Giveaway closes on April 20th, so you have over a month to enter. If you tag a friend, make sure they respond to your tag comment so that we can add you for extra entries a ton of giveaways in this video i hope you guys enter i hope you guys win all the details will be in the description i know that was a lot hope you guys like this giveaway i kind of forgot where i left off but in the time that i was transferring all my stuff to my computer i realized i really like this shirt with pasties like it looks way better way cooler tuck moment i believe we were talking about the shoes and i love them so much they're super comfortable and they're just so cool these are dope. I am really excited to put these in together into an outfit. You'll see all these pieces pretty much in an outfit reel on Instagram, so you can see them like at their truest potential. I don't know why I'm just going through the accessories really quickly. I'm sure you guys have seen like this skinny scarf trend. So artsy fartsy, like one of those weird little guys from the 2000s, and I kind of love it. I don't know if I love it with this. When I got this scarf, I actually envisioned it with more like a low neck kind of sweater. I didn't get a low neck sweater, but I did get this cardigan. This is so soft. Oh my god, this is so <gasps> This is so cozy. I love the color, little baby blue. I felt that was super spring. Pink. I don't know if the scarf is really going with this right now, but I'm obsessed with cardigans. This is a new thing for me. It's like very girly. Maybe I'm just in my soft era. I think what it needs is like to be a sleeveless top. I think a lower neck would look good. A little bit of contrast with the scarf. These jeans might look cute with it because they're kind of like a bluey purple. They are a little bit too big for me. Oh, by the way, you see these spots on me? Like this has been here for Probably two months now. I definitely think I have psoriasis. I just don't want to go to a dermatologist. Coming from like a dental student, it sounds weird, but like I don't trust providers. Like, I don't want to go to a dermatologist because I feel like I don't trust that they won't like overcharge me for random shit. I just feel like there's a lot of people, especially in LA, that are just in it for money. It gives me a lot of anxiety when choosing providers. So I'm just not getting a diagnosis, but I'm pretty sure it's psoriasis because I have some other patches. But anyway, I digress. These are so cute. I really like this. And the wash. Mmm, the full length. Again, it fits me pretty well for jeans, considering that I'm short. This is what I was talking about by like putting in a little bit of extra color, a little splash of something in your everyday pieces, just so like it's a little bit more spring. The crotch is a little bit low though. I don't know about that. I don't know who has this long of a crotch, but I think it adds to like a more baggy feel, which I do like. I also got these jeans. They're a little bit more like acid. A little less color, but it still feels to me like there's color on it just because it's not like black or blue or white. This one's definitely tighter on the waist, which I like. And it's not as long here. Um, I got them both in a small though, so I think they're starting discrepancy. I know they sell different brands on the website, so that's probably why. This wash down here, I feel like it's very natural. I do wish it was a little bit higher because I think that would help like with the contouring to make it look like your butt's bigger, you know? I feel like it gives you a nice shape because it's so tight up here and then it's like a much looser down here and it has the like wash on the thigh. I think that this is so perfect for spring. Like a leather jacket, but it's a nice beige, almost like has a bit of like a green tint to it. The color is so unique. This looks way better than it did online. Online I just said it was beige. This, my dear, this is special. Like it's kind of like a, kind of a green tint to it, right? I'm not crazy. And it's super soft. The biker jacket that I have from them, I love to death. This, I decided to go with a classic like collared leather jacket look and the zipper goes two ways. You can wear it a little bit open if you want. So obsessed with these. I'm just gonna put this on with this outfit because I feel like it looks cool. This is a perfect jacket for spring, I feel. Not just the color, but also the cut of it. 
I feel like this is something that people have tried super hard to find at thrift stores, you know what I mean? I really like this jacket. Personally, I feel like this would look a lot better if I had low-rise pants on, just so the margin Margins. would, or hems, I guess, would meet at the same spot. Like, if the jean was, like, here, I feel like it would look a little bit better. It's a thinner jacket, which is great for, like, the transitional winter-spring, when you need something covering you, but, like, not too much. But I also feel like you could wear this under another jacket if you happen to live in a colder area and it's, like, just one more time for the details. Thank you. I also got this really cute tank top. It's a waffle knit tank top, and the cut of it is what I'm really excited for. If you can't tell, I'm really into the silhouette right now. It's like kind of form fitting up here, looser down here for tank tops. And the cap sleeve were like right on the shoulder line. I feel like it looks very vintage, very, it's giving friends, Monica for friends. I feel like it's just really flattering on all body types because you don't have to be like super skinny in the waist. And this might stem from my like current cake obsession. It's obviously showing on my waistline. Very into this look right now. I feel like it's so flattering on many body types, so. I'm gonna put on the jacket to show you. Mm, yeah, you definitely need a low rise pant with this, I feel. Somehow I'm bawling right now. Like all the things that I've chosen have turned out really good. I also have these gray trousers, really, really high quality. And they feel like they have weight to them. So I'm really excited to try these on. I don't know if they're gonna look good with this though, because it might look a little too, too businessy. They are too big for me, unfortunately. They are really good quality. This is definitely like a slouchy baggy trouser, but it's just way too long for me. Five, six, five, seven. And above, this will be really cute, like, slouchy trouser for you. It is really nice quality and, like, a little too baggy here. <laughs> like I said, they sell a bunch of different brands on their website, so their sizing is not all the same. But that's why you people like me to try it on for you. So I think I'm going to give to my boyfriend. Like, I think these will look really good and fit him very well. I wish so badly that these fit me. He'll just get a nice pair of pants. He needs them anyway. I picked up a denim maxi skirt. Hopefully this looks good because on Instagram I'm seeing like all those maxi skirts that are definitely cut from like actual jeans and I wanted to do it myself but I don't know if I wanted to invest in the sewing machine like maybe I should to hem all my clothes and like customize it but I don't know it seems like a lot right now. So I got this. It's not cut. I could cut it you know and just have a frayed hem. I feel like I could make that work for sure but it fits really nicely by itself um it is a little bit tight not tight to the fact that I can't move but it's just like a little bit fitted which I think if it wasn't fitted it wouldn't look good at all because it would just look drab as hell I definitely think with like a split hem right here and have it frayed it might look really cute also I think it might look good with the hoodie so I'm gonna try that I definitely lack a lot of basic hoodies like I just don't own them for some reason don't know why and I'm always having to like ask other people for theirs because I feel like everybody else has one. So I'm like, I don't need one. But actually, I do need one, so here we go. Oh, I didn't know it had something on it. This says CIA. Okay, 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 okay. At least it's, at least it's spelled properly. Not with the skirt. We're taking off the skirt just so I can show you this hoodie. We're gonna put on the low-rise jeans again because those are my favorite and I feel like they look really cute with this. Also, these jeans are like the softest I feel of all of them. These are my automatic favorite. They're gonna be worn a lot. Yeah, this is a nice fitting hoodie. Ooh, I'm glad I got this. I feel like I really needed one. And I needed one in black for sure because I have a gray one, but sometimes you want a gray hoodie, but most times the outfit calls for a black hoodie just to make it look a little more sleek, you know? Oh, these are cute too. I like how long they are. This is a very good basic oversized hoodie if you don't have one. I feel cute. I feel cute. This is how long it is on me. My butt's here. This is like to fingertip length. Like I could definitely wear this as a dress. I love how the hood's not too heavy that it's like choking me. You know how summer like that? I have a few more things to show you. This comes with this. It's like a dress sweater thing. And it was giving me like 2000s. So it has like this underpiece. It's really just like a dress, okay? But for these items or dresses, I saw it on the model online over jeans. And I don't think she had a belt on. Now I'm seeing it in my head with a belt. So I'm gonna put a belt on. It's like this. I feel like this isn't giving you 2000s Hannah Montana, like, that's so raven. Oh my gosh, this belt's reversible. You could wear this both ways. Now I have a brown belt and a white belt. So like, what if I did like a little... This would be so funny if it works out. You know what, I, on second thought, I don't think this is my thing. I think I would need to be like, a lot cooler. Let's see it alone as a dress. This is nice alone, but I just wanted to like, try to see if I can make it kind of cute. I'm gonna work on that combo and let you know if it works out. Alone, this is a very nice dress, it's like, a very interesting texture. It's not the most flattering on me. I don't know if I love it and it's a bit tight on my arm. And like we're already self-conscious about that, so let's not accentuate it. Let's move on to the next dress. This one looked super cute online. Velvet and with lace on it, which is just textures galore. It's very beautiful. Okay, yeah. 
Yep, yeah, that's a cute dress and I feel like it looks good on me. This actually fits surprisingly. Like I didn't think it would fit my boobs because it's just kind of like open. Straps are not adjustable. I would wish like the back was a little bit lower to match like the lowness of the front, but whatever. It's very cute. Like it's, I love the texture on it. It's so soft. This is one nice dress. I can't wait to wear this. Very cute for like a date or like a formal. I don't know. Is that what happens? Is that what happens during spring? Like formals happen, right? Honestly, girl, I would just wear this for just for funsies. Like to dinner or something. I feel like this bag would go perfectly with it. I thought this was like something you'd find at a weird like thrift store. That's really why I picked it up because I kind of wanted to go for that kitschy kind of vibe. This looks really nice. Ooh, can adjust the strap to make it longer or shorter, which I appreciate because sometimes you need to change that depending on what you're wearing. Like a big jacket, you need a bigger strap. This is cute, I like this. I did get these boots that don't go with this dress right now, but I'm just gonna try it on since you'll be able to see them since I'm on your dress. They look like stompers though. Let's see, there's a zip right here. It fits size-wise. Oh, it's cushion. That sole is cushion. And don't look at the dress and shoe combo, just the shoe. I think that's good. I keep forgetting I have neighbors and my window lines up with their window and I haven't been in clothes over here, but ass naked. I think they're like high school boys or something, so that does not help. Oh, I really like these boots. They're super comfortable too, like squishy, padded. I really like how tight it is to my calf. No gapping. A lot of my boots have a wide calf. Sometimes it's okay if you're wearing like a dress or something, but if I want to wear it under like something that goes like maybe under my knee, not ideal. Oh, these are cute. I really like these. I wish I got more shoes from them because they are a really good quality and very cute. And also, sorry, but this dress. <sighs> I'm just so happy, like I found such good things. One more item, it's this little corset. Oh man, I have to lace it up, it's gonna take a minute. The bad news is it's so large. I already know without putting it, putting on the ties, this is where it should be on me. I'm just not gonna put it on because that's just gonna be a waste of time for me. But I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. And I got this in a small. I would say this is probably like a medium. That's like very big, maybe like a size six. Six or eight, small would fit you really nice. That is all for today's video. I hope you had fun trying on these clothes with me. These that are on the rack are here to stay for life in my closet. I'm so excited. And those those clogs, I'm really glad I added that to my cart. Don't forget to enter the giveaway on Instagram and on here. I'll put all the rules in the description. But yeah, I hope you found some cool pieces, some inspiration for buying your dream spring wardrobe. I certainly had a lot of fun. And I'm really glad that I picked out these pieces because they are bangers. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, you know, whatever. You don't have to. Other than that, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, love you.